okay, it's a historic day for our nation and the International Space Program, really. And uh, it's a second attempt for Bob and Doug to launch on the Crew Dragon. And uh, behind this hatch is where they will uh, dock tomorrow. I wanted to talk a little bit about this very special flag right here. This flag was first flown on STS-1 with John Young and Bob Crippen. It was then later flown at the end of the space shuttle program on STS-135, of which uh, Doug happened to be a crew member on that mission as well. STS-135 brought this flag to the space station with the intent that it would be returned with the return of the first commercial crew rocket that would launch from Florida. So at the conclusion of their stay on board the, the space station with us, they will return this flag with them and, uh, and kind of complete the journey, if you will. Down in Florida right now, they, they had the go-no-go -no -go for, uh, for launch. Historic day. I'm super honored and, and excited to be part of, part of it in a small way and, uh, and greet these guys when they come through the hatch. It means a lot to everybody. It means a lot to a lot of people, a lot of hard work. All right, all the best from uh, Node 2 of the International Space Station, the very forward part of our ship. This is the bow, so to speak, and uh, go Dragon. Take it away, John. So it's SpaceX launch day. They're, minus 13 minutes, 30 seconds. You heard of T minus 13 minutes, 30 seconds counting down. We're continuing to load fuel onto the first stage. That should finish up. Pretty and, cool. Uh, stage, uh, I think just, they just uh, said the last big go, no, go for weathers at seven minutes. So that's like six minutes from now. Into the storage vessels on the first and second stage gets us, uh, just like we do with liquid oxygen, the maximum amount into the storage We've got uh, so that we cameras the going in multiple windows. Yvonne has a camera in there. Right I have a camera in there. A We've got a camera in the, the, in the wharf window. So there's Yvonne right now. And he's, he's setting up uh, a camera and, and we're trying moment, to figure out the best angles to, to get pictures. 10 minutes to go, man. SpaceX Dragon displays are configured for launch. Displays configured Bobby, for launch. Awesome. Bob, Doug, on behalf of the entire SpaceX team, it's been a huge honor to help you get ready for today's historic mission. Thanks, Jay. Uh, it is absolutely our honor to be part of this uh, huge effort to get uh, the United States back in the launch business. Uh, we'll uh, talk to you for more, but thank you. Get Bobby, some, Doug and working. Bob. Here we go. And then the fuel load will complete. So close. Rain 50. In one minute, we're going directly over KSC. Nine, they're able to see where their I'm fuel loading go. is at. How everything's progressing down, what they count. Hey, FTS final setup started. Going to get the picture in the war. Three and a half minutes to launch. And the strong back is now reclining away from the Falcon 9. Great pictures right over the pad. Come on. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. Yeah! SpaceX, Dragon, we're go for launch. Let's light this candle. T minus 30 seconds. Here we go. Get it, get it, get it. Stage one tanks pressing for flight. T minus 15 seconds. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon and Go NASA. Yeah. SpaceX, Godspeed, Bob and Doug. America has launched. So rises the new era of American space flight. They want to the ambitions of a new generation continuing the dream. 20 seconds into flight, stage one propulsion. Here we it's go. Phenomenal. Going to the cupola. Yeah. He lost 30 seconds into this historic mission. Copy, shut down. Second engine cutoff. 
they go into the launch for that uh, stage one landing burn shortly after. Is that pressurized? Mm -hmm. Actually, just within a few seconds of each other. No, it's pressurized. And it's right at about 12 minutes yeah, when the Dragon will separate. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we saw a zero G indicator floating around there. They, they do ensure that the vehicle is okay. not spinning and it is in good We're going to have two new crewmates here tomorrow. Well, a few things have to happen between now and then, but Small that was a big thing. Using cold gas well, it's DM2 docking morning. Just woke up and uh, gotta hurry up and get my exercise in. This is a busy day with uh, other stuff, but super exciting. What an awesome day it was yesterday to watch that launch go. Knowing that they're coming here it made it even more special. Alright, gotta go knock out my exercise. They're right holding right at 200 meters right now. They're just wrapping up manual flight test objectives. And uh, and then in a short a short little bit we'll start into the approach two. And I've got this procedure here, which we're following along. Right now we're in block Charlie monitoring Dragon manual flight test. The vehicle mode is manual flight. There they are. The copy and concur. And that's 200 meters from the center line of the space of the space station. And uh, as soon as I get inside of 200 meters here, I'm going to switch to a different reference point, and we'll reference from the docking port. We do plan to hold briefly at waypoint two, so a reminder that crew visors down is are not required until the ground is preparing to command the final approach. Chris, you can monitor now for step two. That's step two and one decimal one zero four crew dragon approach and retreat monitor. Copy step two alert. Steps three and four is complete. Crew is on the International Space Station is ready for uh, docking. Twenty meters. Here we go. Dragon copies all on the big loop. Go for docking. Go for docking. That's a good one. Four three and four and one decimal one zero four. Crew dragon approach and retreat monitor. Copy steps three and four. Next dragon on the big loop. Our visors are down. Visors down. They are. They're sitting right there, 20 meters from the docking port. One more, one more view. Uh, yeah, I have all this government teachers thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, okay, well, in this time we should be in. Uh, yeah, Palotni customer. Uh, yeah, by by here. By here, okay. Just not see it its order. Mm -hmm. It takes a long time for the hooks. I was so blessed with pictures. I got some. What? Oh, wrong camera. <laughs> <laughs> I got some. <laughs> Dragon SpaceX docking sequence is complete. SpaceX Dragon, we copy docking complete. Just like to say that it's been a real honor to be just a small part of this uh, nine year endeavor since the last time the United States spaceship has docked with the International Space Station.
Dragon arriving. The crew of Expedition 63 is honored to welcome uh, Dragon and the commercial crew program to uh, welcome aboard the International Space Station. Bob and Doug, glad to have you as part of the crew. Well done. Bravo Zulu. Never happy. We have a dragon. Yeah. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Hello. Hello, how are you? Doing great. How was your night of sleep? It wasn't Yeah. Go in. Look. It's about to be. Sounds like go for hatch opening. Here comes the handle. Here, go. Here we go. Wow, it's quiet. You can see the mechanisms rotating. Clicks there at the end of the travel. What's up, big dogs? How are you doing? How are you, how are you doing? <laughs> That's a smooth hatch, man. It couldn't even hear the mechanisms moving. We didn't even feel it. We have Bob Bankin from SpaceX Demo 2 mission entering the International Space Station. Followed by Doug Hurley. Subscribe for more space.